Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bees. I'm Skinny Bee Man. We're at New River Honey Bees. This is Jason Braggs, owner of New River Honey Bees. Today we got a kind of something I don't think anybody's ever seen. Uh, we Jason's already done this video. We know the results of it, but he didn't have a demo because we didn't think we was going to put it on YouTube. Uh, we're going to find the drone congregation congregation area using a drone. And I'm, we're going to just kind of demo, show you the setup we're doing. So when he publishes the actual video, I'm going to get about five minutes up to let you guys see the drones flying around trying to mate the queen and this, that, and the other. But you'll be really surprised where the drone congregation area was in his yard or around his place. So I'll turn it over to Jason now. So basically, all I have is a, a DJI Mavic Pro drone. This is a professional type drone. I use it a lot in uh, real estate videos and other stuff that I do for folks. But I made a little hanger for it. And it's basically just made out of coat hangers. And on the end I've got a bend turned on it so that it pulls the queen out forward so that I can look the camera straight down on the, on the queen. And I attached the queen to the tip of this, a virgin queen, with a little bit of carpenter's glue and let it dry. And I've i found that when I do that, um, when I'm done flying her around and trying to find the DCA, she just comes right back off perfectly easy. It doesn't hurt her at all. I put her right back in the cage and she's fine. But basically this just hangs on the arms of the drone. The queen is attached to the tip of this coat hanger. And this camera here, I can focus straight down and see the queen and see whenever I've got drones following her. And I'll go ahead and take it off real quick and show you. That's kind of the setup, and like I say, he's going to give me about five minutes of the video to premiere it. Uh, it's going to take him about seven to ten days to get this all edited. It's an hour and a half video. Some of it's pretty boring, but he's going to... Covered a lot of cat territory. Yeah, we covered probably two miles or so radius around this place, and... Uh, so, if you want to watch the whole video, you'll have to subscribe to New River Honeybees YouTube page. That yeah, way well, you get notified when it gets up. It's a pretty unique video. I've seen it. I think you're, you've never seen nothing like it. You'll really enjoy it. So, so, hit the subscribe button here if you like the videos. What you're getting, click on Jason New River Honeybees YouTube channel. So, you get notified when this video comes up. And thanks for watching. So what you're looking at now are a few stills of the area I flew my drone or UAV over to try to find the drone congregation area. The green pointer with the H in it, of course, would be the home area or the area that um, where I have hives set up or nukes or small mating yards. Not all of my bees are at this location, but the yellow lines are the paths that I flew the UAV or drone. And a lot of times you'll see where these paths crisscross back and forth over top of each other and just look like a bunch of squiggly marks. This is where I flew at different altitudes. I flew a lot of the same paths at different altitudes to see if there were certain altitudes where the drones paid more attention to the queen. 
The entire area that I covered is not totally represented by the still shots that you see here. I'll try to put together a better map in the full video for you guys to check out. The total area that I flew over probably was around 100 acres or so. I covered the entire area of our farm plus a little. I ended up spending a total of probably an hour and a half and three batteries on the UAV trying to make sure that I covered all possible areas where there might be a DCA. Specifically looking for landmarks or areas of interest where drones might have set up a congregation area. For example, where two creeks run together or where a point runs off. So that sort of uh, location. So what you're seeing now is the view of the Virgin Queen from the UAV camera looking straight down. And as you'll notice, I've circled her with a red circle to make her easier to track throughout the video. You'll see a few workers fly by and a drone or two that checks her out occasionally, but not a whole lot of activity at this point. I'd like to take a minute and point out that this queen was not harmed at all in the, in the running of this experiment. And I actually removed her from the tip of the rod, no glue residue left on her, no harm to her whatsoever. Put her out later in a mating nuke and she got mated and is now running a colony of her own. So no harm at all came to her. The full video is pretty long and it will probably take me 7 to 10 days to finish editing it up and get it posted to my YouTube channel. But like Joe mentioned earlier in the intro, if you go ahead and go over to New River Honeybee's YouTube channel and subscribe and click the little bell button whenever I do finally get the full video of this posted, you'll get a notification and I'm I think you'll enjoy the full video and it'll be very interesting to see where I actually found the drones at. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.